Hi everybody, welcome back to Masonic Curators, where we are telling the stories behind some of the Masonic items we've acquired over the years. Uh, today on the program, I have a business card. Not just any business card, probably the most unique business card I ever received. You see, the first time I ever went out to present at a lodge, I presented Colonial Freemasonry, uh, basically the story of America's founding uh, fathers and some of the lodges that existed during those times and their impact on the Revolutionary War, if they had an impact. Uh, shortly after my presentation, I was approached by Brother Frank, and Brother Frank came over to me and said, I have some fantastic ideas and some interesting things that you might want to hear about your presentation. And so Brother Frank really assisted me further in developing that presentation but not before handing me probably the most unique business card I've ever received. And it is this coin. This coin is a very weighty coin. It is by no means uh, light or uh, um, you know, made of tin. This is a solid, uh, I believe, a piece of steel. Uh, the top says Luxi Tenebris, which is uh, Latin for light in the dark. And underneath the, the words Gomer Oz de Bar, which if you know your Masonic Mackies, it's uh, uh, wisdom, strength, beauty, but not in that order. They're, they're mixed up here. Um, and the allegory that goes along with those uh, words. It's got some great symbolism on there. In the back, he's got some interesting symbolism as well, but I can't exactly show it to you because it has his full name and phone number on it. So we're going to overlay a picture right now, and hopefully you'll be seeing an image of this with uh, the pertinent information kind of grayed out. But on the back, as you can see, uh, it has the keystone, the uh, perhaps the symbolism of the above as below, and his lodge number. It's MIB, which is Men in Brotherhood 1178. His lodge also, also has probably the coolest looking aprons you've ever seen as well. And if I can get a hold of a picture, I'll put that in this video as well. All right, so I hope you guys liked this one. Pretty unique to have a challenge coin as your business card. Probably the most expensive business card I've ever seen uh, or received. But uh, nonetheless, it goes right inside my uh, little coin holder uh, with the rest of my Masonic challenge coins. Uh, and it's just awesome. So thanks again to Brother Frank for an amazing story and for assisting in my presentation skills and uh, for this coin. For Masonic Curators, I'm Robert Johnson. Be sure to check us out next time, and we'll talk to you all then. Take care.